after years of wanting a RPG or a CRPG set in ancient Rome, finally, after so many years, we have Expeditions Rome. Expeditions Rome is a really fantastic game and I've just played 4.3 hours of the demo and I've got to say, voice acting, really good, combat, really good, story, really good, dialogue, really good. There is a lot of good things about this demo that leads me to say this. If this is how good the demo is, then I really hope that this game will be good. I was a simple Roman citizen that had escaped from the city streets of Rome, from what I believe the story was trying to get me to follow. In that time, I led an expedition to overthrow the Pontic forces that occupied the islands of Lesbos and Mytilene. And I felt as if not only was I in the journey, but I was also involved in the story and the well-written dialogue and credit must be given to the writers. They have really done a fantastic effort in immersing the player into the time setting and the period because such a time period is not as well studied or marketed in a mainstream fashion. That being said, there are some flaws within the demo of this game. You might consider this an early impressions review, but your choices do matter. Your story choices are good, but there isn't that much freedom, I would say. Because of the way the story is made, yeah, sometimes, sometimes you'll have options to do some open world decisions. Other times you'll be sort of focused on the linear path that the game wants you to go through. And that, I think, sort of conflicts with what this game is trying to do. Because this game is not just only a CRPG, it's an army simulator as well. You know, you have this Roman camp and as your legions go around and conquer for provinces, for regions, for loot, etc. You are managing not only an army, you're managing an army camp. And I really want to see more dialogue and more story content within the main frame of this game when it comes to launch. Now I'm not an expert at combat, but combat can be punishing if you don't think strategically. That's the main thing. You have to assume that when you go into battle, you're not just battling anybody. You're battling against an opponent that will punish you tremendously. I had to at least do three to four times, three to four times before I managed to win battles. That being said, you know, you can customize your character's look, gender, class, skills, etc. But I really do feel that the loot could be more unique. You know, I would rather want that if I'm looting armor of different enemies of Rome, that they have more variety in terms of color, in terms of shields and equipment. The best way I would References is maybe Assassin's Creed Odyssey in terms of the gear sets. The full game will allow you to go to North Africa, Greece, Gaul and Rome herself and I cannot wait. Imagine such a game like this. Look, I'm just going to say this to the developers. You guys have fulfilled my dream. For years I wanted a CRPG set in ancient Rome or maybe in ancient Egypt. You know what? There aren't many games at all that do not focus on this period. The only games that do focus are Total War or Paradox. You see, you see how starved we are. We fans of classical antiquity are starved and you guys have fulfilled that dream. I am really, really astounded by it. Not only is the voice acting good, the story good. It's really awesome. It's really awesome. And you know, you don't only need to just do the Roman Empire, you can even do the Roman Republic in doing the wars of Cleopatra. Or maybe you could do even more campaigns, more content. I think this would be a fantastic game to definitely play. The demo is 101% worth it. Although the other disappointing aspect of this demo was when your legions were going around and they were fighting battles with the enemy, you weren't really involved. You were just watching from a top-down view. And I felt that kind of took the immersion away. 
I would rather be involved in the battle and fighting and leading legions. Because when you watch from a top down view and you select cards to advance and attack, the tension is kind of mixed and it's not as intensive as it should be. So I would want to see an improvement in this area. And I think that the dialogue is well done and I would love to play more this game. I really would like to play more because it's not very often that you get games like this set in the ancient world. Now of course this is just a demo and I just only experienced what I think is a well made demo and is a well made game. However, when it comes to the full game that of course will have to be judged to the scale, scope and ambitions that Expositions Rome has set itself, be in no doubt. This is a very ambitious game. This is a game that will make you want to play more. And I want to play more of this game. I love this game already. I cannot wait to play this game on the 20th of January 2022. This is, I think, a game definitely worth trying out. And I 100% want the soundtrack already. I'll, I really want the soundtrack. So. Without further ado, Expeditions Rome is a fantastic turn-based RPG that you need to go download the demo, try it and play it on the 20th of Jan 2022. And while I'm not able to offer too much insight into the combat because I'm because I usually play these games for the story, I am definitely impressed with the way this entire game has been made. I want more and I need more of the classical setting. Imagine a wars of the Diadochi, or a war of the Romans and Parthians, or the Tudubak Forest. Such campaigns like this will be really really amazing. So definitely try this game out right now. Don't forget to leave a like, share, comment and subscribe to stay tuned for more videos like this in the future.